Hello and welcome to part 9 of my June 2014 update. A couple more videos I have to do for this after this for June then I'll be up to date. In this video I have uh, one Amray title and seven still books. I'll show you the Amray first and uh, this is an arrow video release of Porkies. It's a film I haven't seen for many many years so I was glad to be able to pick it up on Blu-ray. It's got some nice artwork down the front. We have the reverse artwork. It's not loaded with special features. There are some on there though. Not every arrow release arrow video release has tons of special features. You have the buckler here. Again, it's not a particularly big booklet. But it's well put together. There's nothing too rude in here. And there's an advert for the last American Virgin. Don't normally see those narrow uh, booklets. Similar genre of film, and we have the disc in here. So there's the disc artwork. And if we get that out, I'll show you the alternate artwork, which is the artwork you're probably more familiar with. And it's rating free as well. And on the spine, which is nice, there's a little peephole there as well. And there's the back of the booklet. So, following on from that, we have the Porky's Steel Book. And there's the artwork on there. Show you inside. One, two, the booklet is the same as the one in the Amray case. There's the deep portal again. I'll show you the rest of this. So, we have the Spine there, we have the inside, so yeah, same booklet, same disc, and we have the inside artwork there as well, which is very nice. Get it at Porkies. I said I hadn't seen it for quite a long time, and I remember certain bits like the when they're peeking through the hole in the shower and stuff like that. I couldn't actually remember what the, the sort of plot of the film was about. Really enjoyed it. Uh, next up we have Reanimator. This is a second sight still book. Death is only the beginning. This is uh, the Stuart Gordon film. It's done quite well for uh, Blu-ray releases. I'll quickly show the Porky Still um, card as well. I forgot to show you that. So there's the card for the Porky Still book. Effect effectively it's the same as the back of the Emery. Just obviously lay that slightly differently. Probably more see the same as back of the reverse artwork in the Amory, even. So yeah, this is Reanimator. Still waiting for a couple of other things releases from um, Second Side to put out Society's one. It's been delayed and delayed. And there's Bridal Reanimator or, or Beyond Re uh, Beyond Re uh, Beyond Reanimator, one of those. I think it's Beyond actually the other one. So there's the front, there's the back, they haven't, you can see the image on the back. They've stopped doing printed backs, which is good. We have two discs, no inside artwork on this. It's got disc one, the unrated version, and disc two, the integral version and bonus features. So two different cuts of the film. And we have the card here as well. Standard layout on the back of theirs. It's audio commentary. It's on there, interviews and things like that. Very nice release. Haven't got around to watching this one yet. Unfortunately. Uh, next up, these are all uh, part of the Fox Waves. The war ones. There's one of those and just um, the other ones. Right, this is French Connection. 
do already have part one and part two in the in this sort of pack that came out a while back. But um, freaking winning freaking the rest of messing around with the colours and a lot of people unhappy with it. So they've kind of they we did it. Did come out in America as part of the cool directed signature series. I'll be showing you one of those titles in um, July update. Why even send the disc actually? Oh, perhaps it didn't. So there we have the front. So see boss title there, got a picture of Gene Hackman. This actually looks the same, I think, but I haven't actually checked it to the other one. But I, I do believe it's a different uh, version, it's a newer version. I have the inside artwork there. It's a great uh, chase sequence in this. Just like those kind of things, some bullets got one as well. We have the reverse artwork there. Now, so this, this is, I believe, from what I've read, this is definitely the newer uh, remastered one. And it does drop a couple of features from the original Blu ray release, but if you've already got that, then that's fine. I was keeping the DVD release originally because, because of the actual uh, picture issues, but now it's been resolved, I can get rid of that. So I've got all the extra features over the releases, and I also think this has got some new stuff on as well there's the card We've also got uh, Roy Scheider in this film Fernando Ray so that I'll show this I think I didn't show you the spine so if I haven't there you are nice big writing on there so the film again the one of those ones I want to uh, revisit next up we have Carries of Fire Still never actually seen this. Or despite owning the DVD in the uh, Blu-ray release of this. So I'm trying to rectify that. I'm going through the Diamond DB top 1000 and also Oscar winning films, for best picture and I think this covers both. So probably watch this one today actually. Or well today is one of the day this video is up, but um, today being the 20th of July. We've got uh, border and then boss title there. Nice artwork on the front. The back just basically the Union Jack again. And inside we have the disc. This is the 20th, uh, sorry, the 30th anniversary edition. Same as the one that's already been out anyway. And then we have the inside artwork there. And then we have the cards. Show the spine as well. You can see the light is not particularly brilliant at the moment. There we are. So I'm really looking forward to watching this. Don't know why I haven't got around to doing yet, but there's always other things I want to watch. Next up, we have um, a Coen Brothers film. This is Miller Crossing. It's another one I haven't seen. I've seen most of their films. Um, well, I haven't seen um, Serious Man yet or Intolerable Cruelty or Lady Killers, but I'm not too fussed about that one. And I still haven't seen Blood Simple, so I'm waiting for a decent copy of that to come out. I've got the boss title there and the border. Got some nice artwork on the back there. We have the spine. Then we have the inside, the disc. Same disc again as in previous release. And we have the inside artwork there. Just about to see that. I'll show you the card as well. But there's the card. Like I said, with these, there are special features, but they just don't list them on the back. It's just the bottom bit of that card. I'm hoping the Fox do put some more still books out. Not announcing any. You know, they were doing, like I said before, they were doing about eight, eight between eight and ten a month. And Stop doing them now. Still, loads they can do. Things I do own, they are already some, and some things I don't own yet. All right, next up, we've got Tora, Tora, Tora. Want to have the DVD seal book off? It's a nice embossed title there. Hoping the propeller will be embossed as well, all the wheels, but just the title, got a board then. 
the reverse hot rod there. And then we have the disc, same as the disc as the one I've got already. And then we have the inside hot rod there, which is very nice. Nice and clear. And then we have the card here. This does have a lot of special features on here. I think there's two cuts of the film as well, if I'm not mistaken. But it still needs to watch this again. Um, it's two and a half hours long. I tend to watch some sort of two, two and a half hours long. I tend to watch those at the weekend. Do that a bit and have a bit more time than watch the shorter films during the week. And finally, we have the fly. We've already had the original version of the fly released in the still book, so now we have this one. This was um, another one which was part of the Cinema Reserve series. Still a few of those they haven't released on Blu-ray yet. Um, Valley of the Dolls and Beyond the Valley of the Dolls or Behind, I can't remember which one it is. And we've also got all those on Blu-ray, some like Hot one minor still book of that as well, because the DVD still book was very nice. Got embossed title there. If you can see Jeff Goldblum's face in the eyes, I don't think that's part of the original image, don't know why they put that there. It's a bit tacky, but apart from that, the rest of the artwork's quite nice. And this is a David Cronenberg film, starring obviously, uh, Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. We have the back artwork on there. We have the spine. We have the disc. And then we have the inside artwork there. Probably could have picked a better image for that one. And I'll show you the card for this as well. So nothing too special there. So it's still a nice release. Whether we see Fly, the Fly 2 and Blu-ray, I don't know. No, it's not a great film, but all mine did put out. Probably pick it up cheap. And there's the Torah Torah Tor Tor Spine. I don't think I showed you that when I showed you the still book. Yeah, that's um, all the ones in this video. I do have uh, just a few more still books left to show you for June. Um, there may be, there's going to be at least another video, part 10, and maybe part 11, because I've got um, a little box set to show you. And I don't really want to shove that at the end of a video. So I might do that on its own. It'll take me a little, little bit longer to show it. And I've got a couple of those sort of smaller, nice sets, which I may put with it, just just to make a bit of a longer video. So, some very nice releases there. So as usual, please rate, comment and subscribe. And until my next video, thanks for watching.